What is up, my dogs? Lawson here. Today, I'm gonna be fishing in a pedal drive kayak for the first time in my entire life. And we're just gonna see how it goes. So, on Instagram, I posted asking for recommendations on kayaks after I reached my wits end on the John boat. And I'm scrolling through responses and in there, there's someone saying, hey, I own a kayak company, let me give you one. A little skeptical at first, but then I talked to an amazingly kind dude named Raphael. And now he owns one of the biggest kayak companies in Brazil. Well, he doesn't actually sell kayaks here in the US, but he just was like, hey, I've been watching your videos for three years. I get the kayaks because I'm the owner. I'll give you last year's model. I just want to see you out in the water with a pedal drive kayak. Couldn't have been a nicer dude and such a blessing. And right here we have the Nila Nautica, the Nautical Mile Iron is what this kayak is called. It's not sold in the US and he didn't ask to promote anything, but it's such a cool boat or kayak and I'm excited to use it, get on the water. So let's go. <laughs> this is so weird feeling. I have, I have no idea how to steer this thing. I understand the concept. They got a lever on the sides. Oh Lord. Met some dogs at the ramp right there. Nice guys. Okay, I'm trying to get a, a handle on the rudder system here. So it's down here by my left hand. And then I'm pedaling the old Cletus's. <sighs> I don't know if this is a, a me problem or a paddle kayak problem. I cannot for the life of me go in a straight line. I'm like trying to figure out this rudder system. And I'm just like zigzagging across the river. And I got a, a two mile pedal to the other side. Let's see if I put this thing in the overdrive. Oh God, oh God. I'm not gonna lie. I chose a far way to go and head into the wind. I underestimated how much of a workout this would be, which I love, I'm stoked about it. I'm about to pop my headphones in, put on a podcast. It's gonna take me about 25, 30 more minutes to get across. I've already been paddling for 20 minutes or so. Oh, wow. Standing up on this was very, very easy. Holy crap. All right, so we're working down a mangrove line right here and I'm throwing just basically a big fluke. It's a uh, NLB in little mullet. It's now raining. So we're gonna pedal back to the ramp here in the rain. Well, good morning. We are back at it on the pedal drive. Absolute ghostly morning. So the weather forecast basically said that it is gonna be about eight miles per hour first thing in the morning and pick up to 20 by 10 a.m. So we gotta work fast. We gotta catch some big fish fast. Tell if this is a good one or what? Oh, first fish on the yak. Could be a decent snook, man. It definitely is a snook. Oh, I don't know what we're dealing with here. There's my bait. All right, we got him off the structure, so that's good. This is all so new to me, like fighting a fish on a kayak. Yeah, I've, I've fought fish on paddle boards and stuff like that, but, and paddle kayaks, but never like a pedal drive. This is an all right fish. It feels like at least I really haven't gotten much of a look at them. I got this bait all the way at my rod tip. leader there's fish nice not a giant one but a good one uh, 
this will be interesting. Let's see how I do landing a fish on the kayak. All right. Ooh. Beautiful snook right there. Probably 27 inches, I bet. We don't quite have everything we need for the kayak fishing life yet <laughs> in terms of like mounts and head mounts and stuff like that, but we're making do. So in the future, we'll have better angles than this. But there's a beautiful snook, and there's our first fish in a pedal drive yak. Probably 27 inches, I bet. Just under slot. But he fought shockingly hard. Ooh. Yeah. Boom. Well, sweet. We have officially caught our first fish in the pedal drive. Nice. And a decent one at that. Not a giant, but I can live with a nice 27. Whew. Feels good to break her in. Feels good to break her in. All we're doing this morning is I have this no live bait needed little mullet, which is essentially just like an oversized fluke. And we're just throwing this as close to the seawalls as possible. Snook and jack and all types of game fish will use these seawalls to basically trap prey, mullets, pilchards, whatever, against it like a backboard and just pin them into the wall. So it's a really great spot to find fish and really feeding fish. Like when they're up against the wall, they're like a lot of times, you know, looking for what's going down. Oh, there's a nice fish right there. Snook right here. He missed it. There it is. Oh, that was sweet. Kick it in reverse. <laughs> That was a tough one. I was right next to this dock when I set the hook. <laughs> Chesty died literally while in the middle of fighting that snook right there. Oh, okay. Got another one. All right. It's been a pretty cool morning out here on the pedal kayak. Nothing crazy, but some good old fun. Probably about 22, 23, a very meaty, healthy fish. The fish this morning have been fighting so freaking hard. Beautiful, beautiful snook. This morning has been awesome. All right, the wind is starting to pick up quite a bit. I am in a little pocket right now hidden, but it's blowing about 20 now, so we'll see how much more we can uh, get out of this day here. Moved over some clear water. Gonna throw around this super realistic looking shrimp right here, and uh, we'll close out our day and see if we can maybe sight cast a snook in this clear stuff. Nice crack right here in the mangroves. Let's get a good old skip in there. Hello? Oh, not yet. I'm like literally 10 feet from the thing. Just, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, dude, there's like five snook on top of me. They messed up my bait. Dude, oh, they totally just whacked this thing so badly that they knocked it off its track. Oh, now I'm about to run into this. There was like five snook up inside there. Dang. Oh, snook on me. There he is. Got him. Oh, it's a good one. Reverse. <laughs> Reverse. Okay. Not a huge one, but that was awesome. That was about to be my last cast of the day, too. Woo! 
Whew, that was awesome. He tracked that from 10, 15 yards away in this clear water. Oh man, that was sick. That was so, so sick. And there it is, another healthy, smaller snook. No giants today, but that's okay. I'm just stoked to be out here on the kayak and actually catching some fish and really getting comfortable using it. And that fish fought so freaking hard, man. It was sweet. Well, they've been terrific. Let's head back to the launch.